Hey guys, welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today I'll be showing you three really cool masking effects. So let's get started. I'm gonna take this jungle clip and just put that up and take uh, go on titles and take a text. Put the text in and I'm just gonna write um, masking effects. Take a cool font. Okay, perfect. Now click on your first clip and go on the color tab. And go on this window and uh, press on the selector. And I want my title to appear behind these leaves. And that's why I'm going to mask out this object. Um, you mask out the object your title is um, going to appear behind. So take the selector and just go around the leaves. So um, this will take a while, so I'm just gonna time that. Okay, finished uh, masking it out. Now what you're gonna do is um, press on that automatic keyframe button and move your clip around that it does the first keyframe. Then skip about 10 frames, so one, Two, three, four, or about 20 frames, about to here, and then pull it up again and adjust it to your object. Then another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or more. And now the point where I can put out everything. Now. Go to your notes up here, right click, add alpha, alpha and pull over. Now go back, then just pull it up, pull the title under it and pull in the same clip you used at the beginning and bam. Now when we adjust the size, you can see our title is behind the leaves. Just gonna put it up a little. And bam, our title is appearing behind the leaves. Okay, that's the first masking effect, now to the second. Okay, for the second effect, I'm going to use this tiger. Just going to unlink these and delete the audio. Then go on to the color tab. You're going to go in the same window and the selector again. And I'm going to mask out my cheetah. Okay, finish keyframing out my cheetah. Now go on to the invert button. I go on this tab and press on monochrome. Now you can see our picture is black and white except for our cheetah. And then press on the automatic keyframe again and skip about five or ten frames. I'm just gonna do five. One, two, three, four, five or ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then adjust it again. Skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the problem is with the cheetah, uh, it's a little hard because he's moving his body, so I have to adjust it. Okay, finish, and that is the second cool effect. Now to the third. Okay, for the third one, I'm going to be using this drone clip, and now what we're going to do is go in the color channel again, and so let me make this smaller. Right click, add of output, connect these two, and then go on the window tab again, go on the selector again, and now just gonna mask out this front mountain. Um, auto keyframe it, auto keyframe, fit it, and then skip 10 to 20 frames. 
and bam. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull that one up again, pull the same thing under it, and then go on the clip you just pulled under and right click and change clip speed and press reverse. Press on change. Now you can see our background is moving backwards while our drone is moving forwards and that just makes a really cinematic effect. So guys, if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.